Hey everyone, let me show you exactly how to replace a tone alarm pin with one of my upgraded versions that I've designed and made that has a screwed on tip versus a pressed on tip. Everything else about the pin is exactly the same. My materials are a little bit better. It's all made out of stainless steel. One of the most common failure modes from the factory is this end coming off. There's a little magnet in the end for the sensors inside tonal. It tells tonal where the arm's at. And this comes off, rendering your pin useless. My design, this is actually threaded onto the main pin, so it can't come off. You can unscrew it, it's Loctited on, so hopefully it can't unscrew, but it's not gonna get stuck in tonal, and it's not gonna come off of the main pin. This kit comes with two arm pins, the 10 millimeter wrench to take the pin out, and then a small Allen wrench to take the handle off. An additional thing that you're gonna want is a very, very small screwdriver to pull the C-clip out of the pivot pin. It would be great if the tip is magnetic. If not, you can make this slightly magnetic just by rubbing it onto a stronger magnet. Okay, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is use the small Allen wrench included with the kit and take off this lever from the movable arm. Should slide right off like that. Set this aside. Next thing you wanna do is remove this plastic cover. It's just snapped on. Um, it just takes a little bit of force to get off. You could use a screwdriver in here to pop it off, but you can just grab it, pull the bottom out first, then it's clipped onto the top downward. So if you can pick it up and bend the plastic a little bit to get the top off, now you can pull it away from everything. You can either leave this sit on the arm out of the way or you can take it all the way off. After you get the cover off, I would recommend running some painter's tape or duct tape from the top of the arm all the way down to the bottom of tonal along this gap on both sides of the arm. What we're trying to do is prevent the C-clip from going into the machine if you do drop it or it springs off. What you want it to do is fall on the floor so you have a chance of finding it. So you see I have this bottom gap in here taped up and this big gap here taped up. You should also put tape on the back side of this arm and cover the gap back there, at least to the top of the bearing on Tonal's arm. Because when you take this little C-clip off, and if it does spring off, you don't want it to go into Tonal. If it goes into Tonal, you'll never see it again. If it drops on the floor, you do have a chance of finding it. This next part is the hardest part of the entire replacement, and that's taking this little tiny C-clip off of this pivot pin, which releases this lever that's attached to the pin down here. This C-clip is really, really small, so you're gonna wanna take care to not drop it. If you drop it, you will likely lose it, and I don't have replacements of this pin or this C-clip. The best way to do this is to use a tiny screwdriver with a magnetic end on it. That way, if it does pop off, hopefully it'll stay attached to the screwdriver. You can create a little magnetism in the end of the screwdriver just by rubbing it on a stronger magnet. So if your screwdriver isn't magnetic, find a strong magnet you have laying around in the house. If you have a strong refrigerator magnet, just rub the tip of this on there and you can kind of test it on something steel that's really small. What you're going to want to do is find there's two little grooves in here that you can get the edge of the screwdriver in and kind of wedge it off of the pin. You can see this C-clip is halfway off. So once you get there, you can put your finger on one side and the screwdriver on the other and finish pulling it off with the screwdriver and your finger that way. You don't lose the C-clip. You can see my screwdriver is slightly magnetic. It didn't start magnetic. I rubbed it on a refrigerator magnet. That was fairly strong, and it's just enough to hold the pin. So now I'll set this aside. Do not lose it. Do not drop it, because you will not find it. 
Now, the next thing you want to do is pull this pin out. This pin holds this lever on. Here's the pin. You can see the tiny groove that the C-clip works in. And then this lever just drops down and out of the pin. You can see the pin back there. You might have to move the pin out. You might have to pull this lever out just a little bit while you're holding on to this, the tonal arm so it doesn't fall. But likely, if it's already broken, it's not going anywhere, it's not moving anywhere. So hopefully you can wiggle this free. You might have to get a screwdriver in here and pry it out just a little bit, just enough so this slides down and out. Now, the next step is using the little wrench that came with the kit and getting it on the bolt and unscrewing it. it might be tight in there, the threads are Loctited, so it might take some effort to get that broken free but once it's broken free you can start to unscrew the lock pin my arm just dropped there because my pin actually isn't broken and it's holding my arm up in the middle of tonal yours is likely locked in a position that you can't get it out of whether it's on the top or the bottom or in the middle so hopefully once you start pulling this pin out it frees up and you're able to move it but once this pin is out and not engaged in the tonal your arm moves freely so right now I'm holding up the arm with my other arm and here's the factory lock pin coming out there it is normally what happens is this tip right here gets pulled off from the main shaft and that gets stuck in the tonal's arm. So if it is stuck, now you can move your arm out of way and hopefully get that end piece out of the hole and tonal. You might have to use a magnet or a screwdriver to get it out. All right, you can see the little hole there where the tonal pin goes into. Here is the new pin that I've made. It's all stainless steel. It has some Loctite on the end, and it goes in the same way it came out. Just get it in the hole, get it started in the thread. It's kind of hard because it's a tight fit in there. At a certain point, you'll have to use the wrench that was included with the kit. Tighten it all the way down. Give it a good pull. You're gonna wanna flip this pin over so the open groove is facing down. Remember, the lever slides into that when you slide it up. There, I just locked it into the nearest hole. Now, we can start to reassemble it. Here's the lever. It goes in like this. If you think of this as a C, the open side of the C goes away from tonal. So what you want to do is slide this around the arm, get it up to where you can push this back and capture the pin. Now that the lever is back in there, we have to put this pivot pin back in. And if yours was put in from this side back, it'll be easier to reassemble this by putting it in the opposite way get it through there and now your pivot pin is in there and your lever works like normal now the next part is reinstalling the c-clip so with your small screwdriver that's slightly magnetic you can get it stuck to the end of your screwdriver like this and there's a little tiny groove on the end of that pin that you can get this set in here just like that. The best way to do this is to keep your finger over the end of the pin just in case this C-clip pops out. Hold this back side of the pin at the same time as pushing this C-clip back on. And I was able to get my screwdriver perpendicular to the end of the pin and I just push it on until it clips on. You can use a finger to stabilize it so it doesn't kick out the side. And right there, I have the C-clip back on. That is the hardest part of this entire replacement. It's taking the C-clip off without dropping it and putting it back on without dropping it. 
Now the next step is to reinstall the plastic cover and it goes over the arm with this tall side up and this clips from the top, angle it in and rotate it down. Make sure your top stays in and you'll hear it click when you get it fully seated. Now the next step is to reinstall the screwed on lever. Here's the lever. It does have two small holes in it, in the end of it, with the screw. It goes in this little cutout on the plastic cover. Make sure the arrow is pointing towards you when you put it on. You gotta align it onto the two pins. Once it's on there, it'll stay there. And then you can go ahead and use the Allen wrench provided in the kit to tighten the screw down. And now, your tunnel's back together. The lever should work as normal.